just piecing this together as I'm at work. But like I was saying, it's slithering and sneaking and snaking its way down. And I expect it to come down to the 200-day moving average by Sunday, which is down here at 43 cents. And that's what I'm forecasting this weekend. I think we're going to have a slithering effect down. And I'm forecasting a con continued consolidation this weekend of about 14.69% or the 200-day moving average down to 43 cents. More updates to come. I got to get back into work. Very busy seven-day schedule for the next indefinite. Peace and love. Intend, let's go crypto investing. All notification, like the channel, subscribe and share for that education and information you need. Sidestep and audible. Uh, market manipulation and criminal gangsters that have infiltrated this trading world and space and the crypto sphere and the fleet heist and shite. Uh, the retail trader, right? very important on your way to asset acquisition that you understand uh, what's actually going on out here and we continue to watch and the Bitcoin price briefly here and the Bitcoin price with our industry exclusive purchasing tool right here YouTube exclusive and made famous we're still in the topping out pattern with the volume steadily and the four hours sort of declining from the volume that it had on the big pop up that it had a few days ago back here on the 18th of uh march and we're sideways consolidating with the volume steadily falling on this beautiful sunny cool crisp and seasonably cold 28 degrees on the april the uh, second of 2023 if you can believe that already we're a little less than two months away from the start of summertime and it's chilly morning but we got twenty nine thousand nine hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty seven cents is major Major upper resistance of the VP volume indicator, and take note of that right here. This is the VP volume indicator, and that is the mean of the trading volume. And when you're coming from below it, as you know, you get rejected, or it likes to get rejected. And then when you're coming from above it, to hitting it from above, it likes to act as support. And right now, you're getting rejected, and you're being held up by the 50 and red right here. But if you fall the 50, you're going to come right down to the 200 day moving average. And then if you break, that's going to be when you come down on a consolidation, which you're going to eventually. If you don't hold this 200-day moving average, you're going to come all the way back on a full lateral move down to the $20,769.69 to retouch this area of the top part of this blue trading area, which is a major support zone, right? So that's what we're watching out for in the short term with the Bitcoin price. And if we scroll along here to the XRP price real briefly, We've had a beautiful consolidation after we got into the uh, area in blue where we blew off. We got a little blow off top, right? And we had this nice consolidation. And notice how we're sitting at the bottom part of this blue trading zone now. And right on the 50-day moving average in the four-hour time frame. If you're looking at it right here, you can see the nice consolidation. Oops. And then we're sitting right here on the 50-day moving average. And what you want to do to be bullish and if you want to try to break a new regional high right now off the bat, you got to hold this 50 and start to pump to the upside and then re-overtake this area right here of upper resistance that you're currently seeing, right? Uh, we'll get back to you in a brief second here. Oh, welcome back there to the magical world of editing and clipping. We are seamlessly back into this video, and like we were previously talking about, I ran into the old gas station to get some tobacco. Uh, we're sitting on the 50-day moving average. And what I have a feeling this is doing after this big pump is this was your big move right here. And this was one big right shoulder. I'm going to draw this out for you briefly. You got your big left shoulder. We're forming your head. And if this is your head, you might trade all the way back into this area. And then you form a right shoulder on an upwards trending right shoulder like an inverted. And there would be your neckline in the future, right? And your targeted move would be from the top the bottom of that uh to the breakout point and that would bring you down close to the 28 29 cents if that if this was starting of a topping reversal pattern right of a head and shoulders topping reversal pattern right see that it kind of is trying to signify with the left shoulder then it, this could be a head and then if you trade down to the 200 day and come back up on an inverted scale see that that's what I'm watching out for to see if that's indeed what's actually happening here. And we're going to continue to pay attention for that uh, with our little cross now. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
but that's what I'm watching out for right here. And we're going to see what this does here. Does this dip down? It's, it's showing signs like it's going to come down in a thinly traded week on market, and it's going to play to moving averages where we're holding on to 51 cents, the bottom part, the most extreme bottom part of the blue trading zone, right? And I have a feeling it's going to slip down to the 100-day moving average of blue, and then it's going to slither and sneak and snake its way down to the 200-day in green. And then you might have a nice return rally with that right shoulder. And that would coincide to me beautifully on a Monday morning open. And then you get the breakout or the breakdown. In this case, that could happen on reversal Tuesday, right? So I'm thinking today in XRP, we go from about the 51-cent level.